Hi everybody, welcome back to Tetrix RoboVent video series. This is Tim. Today I'm excited to talk to you about something that we've been waiting for a long time and that is programming support within the EV3 or Mindstorms programming language for the EV3 uh, controller with the Tetrix building system. This is something that LEGO users that have wanted to use Tetrix have been waiting for a long time. So we're excited to announce that if you go to tetrixrobotics.com forward slash EV3 downloads, I'm going to say that one more time, tetrixrobotics.com forward slash EV3 downloads, you're going to be able to download programming blocks that will import right into the Mindstorms programming environment that will allow you to build in Tetrix, mount an EV3 brick on top of it, and go ahead and program within the Mindstorms language. So let me talk a little bit about what you're going to need, because that's going to be very important. Those people that are current Tetrix users are going to recognize these. There are some hardware components you're going to need. You're going to need the Hitechnik server controller or motor controller. You're going to need a power source, 12 volt battery, there's also a charger that goes with this that I don't have out here. You're going to need some kind of a uh, way to mount the Lego on the Tetrix, either the hard point connector or the Tetrix Prime quick rivet with the Lego pegs. So you're going to need to build your robot. Once you've done that, go to the website. You can download the, again, the programming blocks. There's also a sample program there. We encourage you to download that and then there's instructions if you need them on how to import those blocks into the Mindstorms program. Once you go ahead and you download all that, you're going to be able to import, follow the instructions, import the blocks into the Mindstorms. They'll go right into the action palette. They look exactly like the standard EV3 programming blocks you're used to. They're going to function exactly the same. There's that even the sample program that project that we did, not program, project, that's going to have multiple programs within the project that's going to kind of walk you through step by step how to use the programming blocks with the EV3 brick and the Tetrix hardware. Now, I want to really encourage everyone to please, please take advantage of the help menu within the EV3 software. We worked really hard on the help files to go with these programming blocks. The project file that we have has got several links that will uh, actually help go back and forth and make sure you really understand how to use these programming blocks within the software. I do want to also make sure everyone understands these will work with either the retail Mindstorms application or the education. So either way, whichever Mindstorms application you have, you can use that with your Tetrix hardware. I also want to make sure that people understand we actually did the project file within the education version. So most of our customer base is education based. So we really encourage those education customers to go ahead and take advantage of that project file. Explore it and see what you can do within the Mindstorms application with the Tetrix hardware. So again, let's just kind of break it down. There's going to be hardware components you need. There's going to be software components you need. They're available at the tetrixrobotics.com forward slash EV3 downloads. Everybody's got that, right? And when you do that, you're going to be able to actually integrate your EV3 hardware with your Tetrix building system program natively within the Mindstorms application. So this is a big deal. We're excited for everybody, and we hope everyone's going to really take advantage of that. So I think that's all I've got for you. Again, we want to make sure that everyone goes out there build those robots, have fun, and come back and see us.